When we first started renovating this house, the inspiration came from a lot of our trips to Italy over the years. So we've tried to go with a lot of the traditional elements that you see on the Amalfi Coast. So lots of olives, lemon trees, travertine, lots of fresh white and linen. Before we started the outdoor renovations, it was a bit of an overgrown jungle, a huge mess. Um, there was a lot of old terracotta, stencil crete on the patio, lots of old lattice work that we needed to remove. We've been working on the outdoors for about two years now. Uh, first of all, we started by building a pool and then a surrounding alfresco area. And then most recently, Dan built an outdoor kitchen. Our favourite zone in the house would have to be the pool area. We literally feel like we're on holidays every day of the year. The most recent projects were the master bedroom, two en suites and the powder room. We built an extension for our new en suite and used the old en suite space to make an open feature bath space and hidden toilet. The kitchen renovation was the first project we completed at this house. There was a load bearing wall that separated this upstairs living area and we took that down and now we have created this big, beautiful, bright, open living space. My biggest tip for renovating is when you're dealing with tradespeople, don't be afraid to speak up. Sometimes you can be afraid of coming across as a bit of a pain or too high maintenance, but it's really important that everybody's on the same page so that when the job's finished at the end of the day, it's exactly as you wanted it to be. There's still lots to do with this renovation. We've still got a whole downstairs level to complete, so it's a bit of a labour of love. So stay tuned, there's plenty more to come.